safe and healthy. To ensure you all are kept engaged and to constructively use your time, I am starting chemistry class. Our first chapter is Fiber to Fabric. Chapter 3. Those who have books, well and good. And those who don't, we are going to explain it today. First, it's page number 24 and 25, what we are going to do today. First of all, literally, what are fibers? Fibers are the thin strands of thread. And next, what is fabric? These fabric are made up of fibers. We have already learned in class 6 about fibers. Where does it come from? And we have to get a summary first, what we have learned in class 6. In class 6, we have learned fiber out of two types. Synthetic fiber, natural fiber. Synthetic fiber is prepared in laboratories, example rayon, nylon, acrylic, whereas natural fibers we get it naturally from plants and animals. Plant fibers such as cotton and jute which we have already learnt in class 6. How do we get fibers from jute and cotton? Now in class 7 we have to learn about animal fibers and from where do we get it? We get animal fibers such as wool and silk from animals. Wool, we get it from sheep, yak, alpaca, ilama, whereas silk, we get it from silk worm. Synthetic fibers and natural fibers. We have to read only about natural fibers that we get from animals. Natural fibers, we get, as example, wool, we get it from furry animals. Furry animals such as sheep, alpaca, ilama, Yak, camel, angora goat. Have you seen the outer skin of these animals? They have a very thick, hairy skin which is also known as fleece. The term is used fleece. The outer skin of anim these animals is called fleece which is used to make wool. They are, uh, the wool is found in two layers. The first layer is hard and coarse, whereas the next second layer is where it consists of a very fine hairs. One which is hard and coarse and the other fine soft hair close to the skin. For obtaining a very good variety of wool, parents are selected to obtain an offspring. This process of obtaining a desired variety of wool is called selective breeding. The term itself tells selective means it's our choice which type of wool we want. The selective parents are the parents are selective and breeded to get a desired variety of wool, which is very fine. This is what given in page number 24. Now about 25. We know so many animals which from which we get the wool, such as yak. Where do we get yak? Yak is most common in Ladakh. Tibet. So these places are very common to get the wool. Now about pashmina salts. Pashmina salts, from where do we get pashmina salt? Which type of wool is required to prepare pashmina salt? Pashmina salts are very costly. So they must we must get it from very soft uh, variety of hair. That we get it from Kashmiri goat. Kashmiri goat. Kashmiri goat are used to prepare pashmina shawls. The fur on the body of camels are also used to make wool. Lama, alpaca found in South America also yield wools. So many examples are there of animals which give us wool. Now we are going to read how to derive wool from these furry animals. There are several steps of processes that are used to prepare wool from these animals. This we are going to learn in the next chapter. That's all for today. This much you have to learn page 24 and 25 for today. That's all. Thank you children.